please note that this video will contain spoilers on the final boss of Classic Mode and some mild spoilers on the beginning of World of Light. Hey guys, Nairo here. I was given a great opportunity by Nintendo to play the final build of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate and get some direct feed footage for you guys, so shout out to Nintendo for that. Keep in mind that for the following footage, I did use a Pro Controller. I've got some single player content to show you in the form of Classic Mode to kick us off and Smash Ultimate's Adventure Mode, World of Light, a little bit later. Keep in mind I can only show off gameplay and not much of any menus and credits. I'll try to keep the talking to a minimum so you guys can hear the game better, but I do have an important thing to note. My equipment for recording wasn't perfect. While the quality is great, there were a few half second skips that happened unfortunately. For Classic Mode, three happened during the final boss fight and a couple during the World of Light matches. Sorry about that. Without further ado, Let's get right into classic mode. The highest difficulty level you can do at the start is 5.0. The more you win, the more the difficulty increases. With those first two matches, a rep from Nintendo walked by and asked me if I'm having any trouble. After what I did to this Ryu, I said, can I please play on max difficulty? And we had a good laugh about it. The next two rounds are the bonus round and the final boss. I couldn't fit my entire run into this video, but wanted to at least show you something that popped up in my battle versus the fighting Mii team. I saw one of the Mii's had an outfit for Springman. Thought it was neat since he's also an assist trophy. This caught me by surprise. I thought maybe we'd get something like break the targets, but it was instead something new and was a pleasant surprise. This also caught me by surprise. The final round is... My boy Bowser? Ready? Go! Aight, that was too easy.
That Falcon Punch was sick. When it happened, the Nintendo reps and I got hyped. I learned soon after this that different characters fight different final bosses. Perhaps other characters will have different opponents. I'm excited to fight the rest. Now, for Smash Ultimate's Adventure Mode, World of Light. You'll find out very quickly that my Kirby sucks. So just like with the classic run, I won't be showing much of the menus and we'll stick to gameplay. Ready? Go! I found this match a little annoying due to me not being very skilled with Kirby and Mario turning into metal pretty frequently. This is my first time playing on the Yoshi's Island stage from Brawl. Brawl is my first competitive game, so I've played here for many years. Glad to see you back. This Jigglypuff didn't even hit me. If you missed the conditions at the start, it said Jigglypuff will only go for rest on me. <laughs> Good luck with that. Every now and then, you will be pitted against a fighter to unlock them. This next match against Mario is on Final Destination with the main theme playing. And there's a taste of World of Light. I can't wait to complete it when the game launches. As you can see, the map is gigantic, so we'll get loads of time on here. That's all for the single player content. Thanks for watching. If you're interested in my thoughts and impressions on Zerusu Samus, as well as my thoughts on several other characters, feel free to click on either of these videos. Hope you enjoyed!